Okay, welcome to the video. Today we're going to upload a photo and make a cartoon of the person in the photo using Midjourney. It's really easy and I want to show you how to do it. So the first thing we have to do is we have to upload a photo and I'm just going to upload a photo of actually a person I created in Midjourney, right? I did this the other day and here it is. And uh, so here's the guy, right? And so what we want to do is we want to get the URL of this person, this image. So uh, I just right click and I get copy image address. All right, so now that we've got that, we're gonna type in some prompts. So we type in imagine as normal. We paste in the prompt for the photo. And then we add our prompts for the cartoon, right? So we're going to say um, uh, comic book character, Pixar style, uh, high contrast, uh, thick black outlines, and cell shading, which is a term that is referring to how they uh, color actually animated cartoons. So here we go. So now we're, what we're trying to get is a comic book character that looks like this bearded guy here. And, uh, and of course, you can try different prompts and different things, and we never know what we're going to get with Midjourney. And sometimes we have to remix and re-roll and do some things after we get our image. And uh, for some reason, the guy's got a Batman outfit on. I don't know what's up with that. Um, and I don't like any of these, right? I guess, so we're just going to hit re-roll. Uh, what's up with that? Um, we didn't ask for Batman. Yeah, but that's what Mid Journey gave us. And that's kind of sometimes the fun part about Mid Journey is that you get the the wacky stuff, right? And uh so maybe comic book character is uh is what's prompting that. So let's instead of let's re-roll this where you've got a remix on, by the way, instead of comic book character, let's say cartoon instead. And maybe that'll help us out. Um All right, so I don't like these either. So here's the demonstration. We're using Midjourney. It's already frustrating because we're not getting what we want. But remember, Midjourney is a genius four-year-old. It doesn't know what you want. It's just it's just randomly getting some things to you, right? Uh, actually, if we upscale this one with the uh, kind of the thing, I mean, it kind of looks like the guy a little bit, right? So. Uh, let's very, we'll very strong that one and just see if he can get it a little no more normal. All right, so here we go. That looked a little better, right? So here's our results with uh, the Pixar style. Uh, I kind of like this one the best. Let's upscale that. And uh, let's do this. Let's go to this one, our original. And we'll open in browser, and then we'll come back to this and open in browser, and then let's compare, right? So here's our original. Here's the new one. It's got the big bushy eyebrows. It's got a beard. It's got the kind of the white shirt. It's kind of the, kind of the moose in the hair kind of look. It looks kind of like we did a good job. So that only took a couple of re-rolls and we got to where we wanted to go. I could still probably play with this a little more, but uh, I showed you exactly how to do it. And just to recap, let's review. Oh, here you go. Here's a better one. This is the one we upscaled. Uh, what do you think? 
So let's just see what we use. So we uh, we uploaded our photo, comic book character, Pixar style, high contrast, thick black outline, cell shading. And uh, this one was um, the, the same, right? Uh, actually, this one was a uh, cartoon character. This one was comic book character. So anyway, there you go. Uh, I kind of like the results. I like this one the best. I think it came out great. Uh, please, um, if you like this video or you like the other videos in the series, please consider subscribing to the Mid Journey Experience newsletter where uh, we teach you all about this kind of stuff and more. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you.